Please wait, I am now loading up the game. Have fun. I promised you that if I ever got any information about your dad, I'd tell you first, right? I was paged last night. I came from your dad's office in New York. So? So? The number's been disconnected for 20 years. Two nights before he disappeared, he came to my house. He said he was about to change everything with it. Science, medicine. Hey, Dr. Doom, what's up? How you doing? All right. Well, welcome to the stream. Yeah, so tonight uh, at League Night, it's uh, the month of January, League Night Finals. And uh, this particular League Night, I believe, is going to be all Lyman Sheets uh, games. Uh, so we have uh, quite a few of them. Uh let me see if I can find what's on the docket. Uh, yeah, so uh, Attack from Mars, Monster Bash, Medieval Madness, Iron Man, Tron, Metallica, and Black Knight. So um, there's a good chance that uh, I'll be playing some of those. All right. So it looks like on this stream, I might be having a couple of issues, some frame drops, but I'm not sure if that's just me messing around with Spotify. Uh, but if it looks weird or if it sounds weird, uh, please hit me up and let me know uh, so we can get it fixed. But the, the good thing about... Uh, having quite a few of these Lyman Sheets games on the docket is that uh, I have almost all of these um, loaded on my VPN. <laughs> so I might as well take a uh, take advantage of that uh, and get a little practice in uh, trying to learn some, you know, some basic rules, skill shots, things like that. Um, what needs to happen. So I can continue uh, climbing the ranks in my little league. Uh, currently, right now, I'm ranked 22nd uh, in Oklahoma. And in order to be invited to the state championships uh, in the 2023, 
I need to get into the top 16. So, uh, got some work to do. Well, I figure we can start with Tron. Look at me, put my keyboard away, and I'm uh, I'm knocking down my trophies and shit. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I should just just leave that there like right in the middle of the table <laughs> and mission control it looks like we have lost our lockdown bar cam what happened our Logitech Brio died Let's see if we can't uh, resurrect it I know I'm playing this thing for real. Y'all don't need to see my hands. All right, calm it down. Dr. Doom, do you, uh, do you participate in any leagues, leagues or competitions? Hoping that that same uh, uh, output from the arcade um, will actually hit that flipper in the same way. I seriously doubt that it will. But on VPX, uh, it's pretty predictable. Uh, you just hold that flipper, it's going to bounce up. Um, and hit one of the lanes. So that's our second option, is uh, to just leave the flipper down and let it just kind of just kind of roll from one flipper to the next just like that
Ah, that was not the way to handle that multi-ball. <laughs> That, that feels much safer. Oh no, I let that flipper go. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'll take that. Sea of Simulation, let's go. Look at that. <laughs> Maybe that's our highest score or whatever. I think we got the replay. And then uh, we also got an extra game. Nice. Oh. I don't think we still made it to the big leagues, though. 38, uh, 33. So. so 33 is our highest. I dedicated that game to Rad. So pretty close there. Not bad. Uh, mistakes with both multi balls. Uh, was uh, it's really causing some problems. So let's get that. Better control of those multi balls. All right, light cycles lit. Get in there. Thank you, in Fozzy. <laughs> There's in Fozzy flipper physics. I am just starting to uh, learn about that. didn't work out the way I wanted. Uh, how do we go from over 30 to barely cracking six? Nasty. Finally, thank you.
Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Astro Nicey, what's up? Hi girl. <laughs> oh man. Uh <laughs> except for my gameplay, it's going good. So uh try to put in a little bit of work before tonight's uh league night because it is uh a Lyman Sheets dedicated league night. So tonight is the last league night of the month, which means it's finals time. Uh, and the tournament director has decided that uh, we are going to play all Lyman Sheets tables uh, for league night tonight. So six rounds of Lyman Sheets tables. Uh, so that'll be interesting. So games like uh, Tron, uh, Metallica, Medieval Madness, Monster Bash, Attack from Mars, um, which are all games that I have uh, uh, on my VPN. So I can I can put in that work uh, and get some practice. was your first project yes and i was actually just bragging that uh the infosy physics uh on here allowed me to uh pull off some shit that i can't do on uh other tables and not not just uh you know flipper tricks cradle separation but just um being able to do like a very light flip uh, just to, to kind of catch a ball to trap up just those little things just that that little you know real quick flip just to tip that ball just to get it back on the flipper and I, I wish that every game uh, had that because once you get used to doing it man there's you gotta want to do it on every game See that, that right there? Just that, that little. Look at that. Look at that, just that. Pay attention to that flipper. You see that? That right there. That's what I'm talking about. There's a lot of stuff that different aspects uh, artwork, design, uh, physics, and things like that, sound, all, all of that that goes into a table recreation, whether it's done by VPW or uh, you know, anyone else. Um, and it just, but as somebody who started to learn 
more and more and play in uh, tournaments and leagues um, and beginning to travel for those tournaments and leagues, having stuff like that on a V-Pin um, to be able to recreate those flipper tricks and subtle nuances, that just bridges the gap even more and allows me to learn in a better way. Astro says, once I, play, once I played the in fives and stuff, can't play regular versions. Uh, just messes you up on all the tables. Uh, yeah, I feel you, man. And even if you're not sure if the table has uh, Fozzy Physics, just just doing that that little half button, that, that little tiny, you can see it right there, that, that little bit, just load the table up and try to do that. If it doesn't have it, uh, you're gonna full flip no matter how light, how fast you press. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> oh, oh, and a drop catch right on the end of a live catch right on the end of the flipper. <laughs> uh, the big thing is the flipper nudge. That's the best test. Uh, either that or uh, trying to answer uh, Dalton's call for a tap pass. Uh, <laughs> if it doesn't have flipper nudge, it doesn't have the most current version. Cradle it and flip the opposite flipper, and the ball will move. Oh, oh! So there's different versions of Fuzzy. Okay, okay. Well, let's let's try this theory out. Don't tell me the answer. I want to find it for myself. So we trapped up. Well, look at that shit. Ain't that some shit? Is it me, or is are there? numbers on this ball do uh i've never looked at a pinball like held one in my hand up close do the pinballs actually have like numbers engraved on them like a weight or a size and am i actually seeing that uh on this uh on this pinball texture. Cause if I am, that is hella cool. And that is some that is some detailed love. <laughs> that somebody uh spent some time on a pinball just to engrave some numbers on it. It says G5K on the ball. That's crazy. Wow. I can't, I can't stop looking at that. Just, that's, that's really cool. That's really cool. Now, I wonder, uh, Astro, if you happen to be working on any of the, uh, like the VPE stuff, the, I would imagine that the, uh, the, the change to working in, like, you know, uh, Unreal or a different environment, an engine, a Unity engine, something like that, would allow for the creation of 
better meshes. And with better meshes, you get better... Um, uh, in fighting games, we refer to it as hitboxes. You would get more accurate hitboxes. Um, does that have any effect on physics or gameplay? If you can render uh, meshes, polygons, objects, um, and get those hitboxes more accurate, Hope you understand what I mean by hitboxes. Say where the uh, like I noticed uh, a while back when I was playing a uh, Indy 500, and it's a really good 4K version. Um, but I noticed that I could flip the ball, and there was like an eighth inch gap between the ball contacting the flipper. Like it would still like I could still flip the ball, but I noticed that the flipper wasn't actually touching the ball um, when it was flipping. And I'm wondering if with the uh, improved accuracy that a better 3D environment would bring, uh, I would imagine that that would improve gameplay and accuracy um, leading to a more realistic feel. Ah, okay. The one you see in the invisible one that actually collides. Okay. So, the collision detection. So, could it be that the collision dete detection on that is just not like it should be? And I'm seeing that? Or uh, is that just a limitation of VPS? Ah, okay. So maybe I got a bum version. Well, that's unfortunate. Because that right there caused me to, to stop playing the table. <laughs> so the visible one has too many polygons for VPX. So you make a detailed, non-collidable one on the low poly invisible one. Ah, okay. But VPX doesn't see it as uh, having to deal with and calculate four flippers. I will have fun. I need to go grab my drink. There we go. Ah, okay. Okay, I got you. It's a different kind of tech stream. <laughs> Usually I'm trying to fix stuff on my broken stream. Now I'm in here going to school on flipper physics, which I don't mind.
For example, the raps in the Attack from Mars, the ones you see are fake, and the invisible ones are totally flat and boring. Ah. Now, if I were to design my own table, would the VPX editor automatically add the invisible ramps? Does it automatically do two versions of each ramp? Oh, no. The real ramps are VPX default ramps set to invisible. Okay. Then you make fancy ones in Blender and import them. Well, see, the problem is, as much as I would like to uh, make my own table, uh, working in Blender, I have no artistic skills at all. I remember back in the day thinking that um, uh, Future Pinball was so cool. And that was the first pinball emulator that I ever messed with. But I thought it was so cool because all of the um, the parts and pieces were there. And it was just kind of like, you know, putting Legos down on a flat surface. Like, oh, I want to ramp here. And you could, you know, make it bend and curl, uh, you know, in whatever way that you wanted. You could pop some lights here and stuff like that. And you could shoot it and play it. And things would work. And I thought that was really cool. And I didn't have to have any artistic ability at all. I just needed a cool idea. Like, wouldn't it be cool if this ramp went over here and made a curly cue over here? Or if I hit this bank and drop targets over here, then it would give me a multi-ball. You know, stuff like that. Havoc! At this point, wait for VPE. All of that will be pointless. You don't need to learn any of it. VPE will be more like future pinball editor. Do your flipper tests on this table. Bet it won't work. So this is the uh, the original G5K version, which you could probably tell uh, just from looking at the lighting. So let's see if that's actually the case. Now, I would never dare to mess with or modify a G5K table. Oh my god. That ball is... Uh... Yep. Yeah, it is still. It is dead still. Oh no. That is unfortunate. But I believe it would be sacrilege uh, and I would be burned at the stake uh, by the VPN community if I were to modify this table. <laughs> you modified the G5K, which was what I was just playing, I'm guessing. Yeah, see, right there, I could have used a tiny little flip 
right at the end of the flipper to bring that ball back on the flipper instead of uh, having to completely flip it away. Yeah, funny you said that. Uh, did exactly that. Uh, after you modded it, he was the first person you sent it to to see if he was cool with it. Nice. And he, and he liked it, and he was like, if you want to do anything else, go for it. That's pretty awesome. But at the same time, I didn't nudge forward on that like I should have. So that was my fault. Now on this table uh, for league finals, I, I I have no hope on this table. The average of the top four is between five and seven billion. So. <laughs> <laughs> While they say, hey, you should always believe in yourself and don't be a defeatist. Um, my highest, if I really go into try hard mode, um, damn it, uh, is going to be maybe 3 billion. So. Now, I will say, on this table, um, in VR, I get thin, I get much higher scores. It seems like on almost every table, um, when I bust out the VR, much, much higher scores. So, I can't wait uh, till uh, after my stream is done tonight. Uh, to try out uh, Lord of the Rings uh, in VR uh, now that it's been reverted back to 10-6. Uh, Play it safe and don't shoot for the center ever. You mean like I just did? <laughs> yes, uh, I do know the skill shot. Hold in the left flipper. Uh, goes all the way around. And bam, there you go. <laughs> this Metallica and Medieval Madness have the same uh, skill shot. Nice. How that did not count for a, uh, oh, you piece of shit. <laughs> How that didn't count for a lock, I don't know. Oh, really? I love to hear super secret tricks. Uh, kind of like um, uh, when you uh, when you essentially alt tab out of the table while a ball is in a in a pass of the dead, <laughs> and you just rack up souls until you alt tab back in. Wait, I am now loading up the game. Have fun. All right, let's see what you got. Now this one, I really need to uh, 
to tune the Dolph lighting because it is so bright, especially from the uh, from the LED panel at the uh, back of the play field. It's so bright that when it goes off, I can't actually see the ball. So hold the flipper, full plunge the ball, use use the button, not the real plunger. Drop the flipper before the ball gets there and don't touch anything. It'll go with the scoop nine out of 10 times. So just use the button to launch. Huh, okay, let's give it a try. All right, holding the flipper, pressing down the button. Pretty close. But I think I get I get quite a bit of stuttering on this table. Uh, especially during a, a multi-ball. Like even right now, uh, it looks like I'm getting about 20 frames a second on this table. And it uh it seems to only do it on a VPW tables uh, might have something to do with the lighting I don't know there we go right in there Hell yeah. and this is the uh, VPW 1.06 version is the latest version I can find that hot that is so cool If it is rolling up a flipper, spam the other flipper and it slows the ball down, creating little micro hops on the ball, right? That's cool. Didn't do it that time. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. I love that. 
<laughs> did I disable Windows Defender? If you didn't, then the flashers are making you lag. I have to be honest, I'm not sure if I did. I've never heard or read that on any of the forums I visited. But I have to admit, I didn't look very hard for a solution. I just figured uh, my computer is... Uh, getting a bit long in the tooth. Whoa! That was some backspin. Windows scans the flashers. Specifically real-time scanning. Really? Huh. Well, since you're the only one here, let's, uh, let's check it out and see if that's actually the case. Let me see. Uh, we're gonna need some, we need some settings of some kind. All right. Uh, let's see, system notifications. Update and security. Defender? Uh, firewall and network protection. Virus threats and protection. Hmm. Not sure what to choose. All my firewalls are on. Advanced settings. Hmm. It's in there. Current scan options. Virus and threat protection. Microsoft Defender offline scan. No, we don't want to do offline. I just want to turn the shit off. Choose which files. Huh. Virus and threat protection. Manage settings. That sounds like what we want. Real time protection off. Whoa. It didn't like that. Cloud delivered. Automatic samples. Submission. Let's just. Wow, warning, warning, warning. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right, well, let's just go with that. <laughs> and now let's go back in there and load up Metallica and see if we get same issues. And hopefully I won't have to restart my cab. You had to disable it in the registry. Ooh. Uh, for something like that, you might actually have to help me with that, bro. That sounds uh, complex. Please wait. I am now loading up the game. Have fun. <laughs> Automatically in a week. Uh, well, this is just an experiment anyway.
but it would certainly help me enjoy uh, games like Tales from the Crypt, uh, Batman 66, uh, Metallica, uh, and Congo even more. think that that fixed it holy snikes wow nope there's okay there's a little bit of there's some slow down there yep open my mouth too soon yeah it did look sooner until oh about 10 seconds before I drank Whoa! <laughs> well, that one just went straight down the drain. See, there's some more slowdown right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's... Ooh, ooh. Yes, uh, I'm capturing that through NDI. But I know that this particular problem with this uh, slowdown uh, happens even when I'm not streaming. And it doesn't seem to happen on other versions of Metallica. But other versions of Metallica don't look or play as nice as this one. I just wish I could fix the the stuttering issue. I mean, it's better now. Damn it. But I used to be able to score 250 to 350 uh, on this table, no problem. Uh, but as soon as I moved up to like 4K versions of this table, nope, ain't happening. this at 4K. Nice job. I'm also streaming this uh, in 4K as well. Now, they 
60 frames a second uh, with 24% CPU usage. Try playing it outside of Popper. He's cooking. I can smell it. Damn it. All right, there goes the slowdown again. It didn't last as long uh, as it normally would during the most. Damn it, what the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. That sucked balls. See, how many versions of Metallica do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Five versions of Metallica. Yeah, no doubt. OBS and VLC. Uh, I don't think I'm using the VLC player for anything. Unless you're talking about Popper uses VLC for uh, what it does. See, there's, there's slow down there. Okay, okay. I didn't know that. I knew that before uh, Baller and Solar, when I had to install stuff manually, uh, VLC was like, you had to have it uh, on your system. Yeah, see, that's just... try to make him as big as possible that's uh it's about as good as that's gonna get uh you say ooh, is that bad <laughs> put force exclusive full screen on uh where the heck is that cabinet stretch ball aspect enable brute force Force Bloom, Force 10 bit, Force Seductive. 
Am I supposed to look on the left or right side? Force exclusive. It's on the right side. Okay. Texture, force anisotropic, alternative depth, full screen. Okay. Force exclusive full screen. Okay. All right. So you're saying that's it. Okay. Well, let's give it a try. Let's control S this. F5 it. Whoop. Ah, damn it. Don't you hate it when that happens? Yeah, come on, close. It didn't like that at all. Man, if this fixes it, I'm going to be so mad because I've missed out on playing Metallica so often. But I just, I didn't feel like messing with it because I couldn't get it to stop stuttering. Like, like my other tables. I was playing a giant 4K window. Hmm. Like it was treating my three screens and combining all of that resolution into one window. Is that essentially what it was doing? Still laggy. Oof. Make sure it's safe. I'm pretty sure it is, but let's let's check it out just to be sure. So go back here to preferences, video, and force exclusive full screen mode that is on. Should I get rid of ambient occlusion? Reflect dynamic and depth uh, elements on the play field. I don't have screen space uh, uh, reflections on, but the table did crash. So maybe let's close out of VPX 100%. And we'll just do that. It's one other thing that I want to try. So let's do. Hey Astro, if you want, uh, you can hop into my Discord in the uh, in the gaming channel. Uh, if you don't want to type that out. So there's a VPW 1.0. That one's from 2017, 2018, and 2017. So let's do 2018. That's the mod 1.5. Let's load up that one, see what happens. Might tell me I don't have the right ROM for it, maybe. <laughs> yep, it says, hey, foe. You don't have the right ROM. Hello. Oh, who the hell is that? <laughs> Astro, what's going on, bro? It's me. Told me to hey. join. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, I got a, I got a minute. Yeah, cool, cool, man. Uh, let's see here. Let me check out my, my Discord. 
There we go. Yeah, you should be able to hear me nice and clear in your Discord now. Yeah, I got you. I um. Cool, cool. The the reason I found out about the real time protection thing was because my back glasses were lagging me. Oh, okay. So that's why I said, I said fire up the table and then Alt Tab out and just close out of your B2S and see if it, it gets better. Oh, okay, okay. So let's let's get out of this mess. And I'm gonna go back to. Yeah, but you should always have force exclusive full screen on. It just ups the performance a lot. Okay, okay, cool. So we're gonna go back into this VPW 1.6. And then alt tab out of the table and then just delete the, the just exit out of the B2S, but still leave the table, yeah. see if that helps. Okay. Yep. Interesting. So if that's if that's the issue, then what would I need to do to resolve it? There's some settings in the B2S that you can turn down. Ah. I am currently running my B2S. If that's on the a, problem. If it doesn't make a difference. Ah. Cuz I'm running it on a uh, uh, a 1440p Dell curved gaming monitor. And it's running at 165 hertz uh, with 10-bit HDR. <laughs> so my back glasses look absolutely Player beautiful. One. So that's uh... they're crystal clear. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, they're absolutely gorgeous. That's that's why I made such a big hype out of the uh, the, the backlash you did for Lord of the Rings. So, okay, there goes our back glass, all gone. Oh, there's my porn up on the screen. Uh, let's. Uh, not show that. All right. Yeah, really? let's, let's play a game. It's really weird that it's just that left side. It's like those drop targets are lagging you. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That, that drop catch felt really good. Okay, no, no lagging yet. Okay, you see, I got my, got my VP, uh, VP universe up there. <laughs> Anybody who might be watching this after the fact, uh, definitely visit VP universe. Uh, make sure you're at the right place uh, to get the newest, hottest stuff and get it the way you should get it. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. All right. Well, let's see if we can hit Sparky a few times. That usually gets the flashes going. Uh, it's a little bit, little bit laggy there. I saw, I saw it trying to. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so there's a little bit of slowdown. Yep. Yeah, it's a little bit laggy there. But now. We're good. What a. Uh, what graphics card are you running? I am running a water cooled 1080 Ti. But I am yeah. using, I'm, using I'm an ancient uh, 4790K <laughs> i7. So. I have I have a 4790K and a regular 1080, uh -huh. uh, but I don't play in 4K. I think it's I think you just are on the cusp of not being able to run 4K. Oh, might might be it, but I run like when you especially when you're streaming. Yeah. I would just drop. I would just drop your screen down to 1080. Just didn't see if it if it fixes it, and that's your problem. But turning off real time protection is and running full screen are automatically going to help a little bit. You should be doing that anyway. Let's uh, let's do that. This is going to hurt. Oh, it's going to hurt my feelings to drop this. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, 4K. You you basically want an RTX card. The 1080 is not designed for that. I mean, it can do it, but for for this sort of stuff, like the you know, it's going to be fine for the tables that aren't doing crazy stuff. But for the VPW tables, yeah, they're like push, they're like pushing the limit. You know what I mean? 
Are you saying that you guys are next level? Is that what you're trying to say? No, we're saying we broke. <laughs> we're breaking VPX. <laughs> breaking VPX. <laughs> it's doing stuff it was never it was never designed to do. Well, uh, let's go to 2048 uh, max texture dimensions as well. Uh, and then control S that you, you have no idea. Tears are running down my cheeks now as I lower this uh, texture resolution. Mm. <laughs> you got, yeah, you, you got to find a scalper for oh. like a 3080. Oh, you'll look, be good. look how big my freaking icons are. Oh God, look how blurry the textures on the table are. Oh, oh, that's nasty. That is, that is. Oh, but if the, the lag goes away. That is behind the dumpster, kind of, kind of nasty. Look at that skill shot worked up. It did, and I, I hit that ramp with ease, and nope, still got the stutter. So it is not that. You can put it back to 4K. Yeah. Oh my God, look how slow that crawled up there. Oh my God. That, that's horrible. Yeah, that's weird, man. I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, I, I have no idea. Well, we'll just have to say, well, when you're, when you're off stream, we'll just, we'll figure it out one day. <laughs> I think it's Defender. I think you're gonna have to. Have to do some stuff. You're gonna have to turn off Defender. Yes. Yeah. Let's see here. Where's my 4K 60? 3840, 60 hertz. Yeah. What? Was that an 8K resolution I saw? Holy crap. Yeah. Who's running that? You are. You're about to. Fire it up. <laughs> 8K. So I did turn it back to 4K, but the resolutions, uh, texture resolutions, are only at uh, 2076. Yeah, but the way it's slowing down, it's like a pro it's like a processing problem, and I think it's yeah. probably Windows. You got to do what I did, and you got to go in and disable all that Defender stuff. Mm. It made a it made a huge difference. It was like night and day, it was like flipping a switch, but because it's the v it's the way that it's script it's the script that runs. Yeah. Um. Windows thinks it's a virus. So it oh, scans Windows. it. So every time a flasher flashes. Could I make an exception Windows. to uh, to Windows Defender and virus and just say, hey, leave anything VPX alone? Yeah, yeah, you can put it as an exception and turn off okay. real time scanning. OK. But Oof. I don't know if that'll fix it, but it's yeah. part of the problem. Even at 4K, uh, looking at it with the lower texture resolution uh it's noticeably blurrier like on the the play field image itself it oh yeah blurry. for sure all of the um like the ramps and all yeah. look pretty good although they look a bit more um they, they look a bit more cartoony Player uh, one. like like something that's um oh what do you call it the type of animation with the, the thick black lines around it i forget what it is Oh, cell shaded. Yes, it. Yeah, the the metal on these ramps. So cell, cell, cell shading. shading. Yeah. But it could also be that I probably haven't restarted this VPN uh, PC probably in three weeks. <laughs> and I know sometimes it's on all the time. It's just on all the time. Yes. I, I really don't restart it unless I have like a brownout, electrical problem, uh, one of my cameras doesn't play nice with the others, stuff like that. Now see, that, that looks like it's doing its thing. Looks like it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like soon I'll be playing a 720. Look, it's better now? Uh, well, we're gonna see. That whole ball didn't have any slowdown. And that's even with the back glass active. Uh, 
Woo, come on, let's go. Alright, let's get a shot. There we go. That's some serious flashers. Nothing really happened there. Okay. Not mad. Slow shot into the pops. Still nothing. Hmm. Okay. Nothing horrible has happened so far. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, nope. Now it's back. But it went away super quick. I think that it is a uh, uh, Windows Defender kind of problem. Because when it slowed down right there for probably about three to five seconds, uh, that was probably Windows doing a scan. Yep. Something triggered it. Yep. That's that's what that is. I think I think you fixed it. <laughs> well, not necessarily fixed it, but at least uh, on the right. right direction. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I'll find the uh, I'll find the instructions and I'll send them to you. Like, there's instructions on how to go into the registry and disable that. Yeah, so, I would I would love that. Thank you so much. That's why I don't even leave my I don't even have my cab plugged in, like to the internet. Like I, I download everything on the USB stick and I just transfer it over. Really? So that way I can just have no firewall at all. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. They don't that's, have to deal with it. I'm not saying you got to do that, but yeah, I wouldn't be going to them, them porn sites with it off though. You know, <laughs> <laughs> if I'm, if I'm watching porn yeah, on but... VPN, that that's a whole different. I'm not gonna stand here. Well, I was, uh, like, I was just, I was just movies saying movies. this is a throwback to earlier when you said, <laughs> "Oh no, my porn is shown." Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that 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 wasn't mine. <laughs> that was that was that was my dog. Uh, sometimes that was your that was there. your dog. Yeah, sometimes. Uh, I got you. Um, you know, if I leave the keyboard on the couch, man, buttons get pressed. I him, don't know what he's doing. But I tell when you, him and his buddies are playing poker. I'm now loading up the game. I don't know. Have fun. Uh, it could be. I used to have that picture up on the wall. It was actually a um, uh, a carpet uh, that I had that I hung up on the wall with the dogs playing poker. <laughs> now, if uh, if VPW is going to work on anything, this table right here, this is the one that needs the love. Grand Prix? Heck yeah. I mean, Board Board did a fantastic job uh, with this game uh, as far as uh, updating it from its previous VP9. And now it's super awesome. But this one, because I have this uh, at my local spot, it just plays way too fast. And the only thing I figured out to do is to go into physics and just like increase the gravity and friction of everything to slow the ball down. <laughs> is this board because, or is this loser man? Uh, I believe this is board. Uh, it was an original. No, uh, what's his name? High res. Something. High res. High res. High res took yeah, the I was original gonna... loser man and redid it and updated it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm so, looking on. I'm looking on the site right now. Yeah, this is absolutely fantastic. I was about to say if if board had done it uh board board worked on it with loser man okay and then I'm reading it right now and then high res loser man rebuilt it high res did the plastic play field and board did the blender yeah this is a re upload of they didn't do anything to it it's just a re-upload from v pen oh well it it looks way better than the other version that i had previously i don't know but i'm saying if this was a if this was a a new ver version that board had done it oh. it would be top notch it would be like his oh, okay. black knight you know that's why i was confused oh, okay, this is okay. an old this hasn't been updated this was just a re-upload from vpinball.com it's probably a couple years old okay because it, when I play the one at a at my local spot, the reason why it's slow is that the table is pretty much parallel to the to the floor. 
Like there's no elevation. Did you, should you try? Did you try changing the slope? Uh, I did. Uh, that didn't seem to to work as well as I'd, I'd like. And from what I was told, changing the slope doesn't really do anything to slow the ball down. And I was like, well, that doesn't seem right. Uh, the slope would make the ball roll slower. But if you're talking about the speed coming off the flippers, and then it's a flipper strength problem. Yeah. Uh, I think the speed coming off the, the flippers feels relatively fine. So what's too fast? Um, just the, the ball rolling around the table. This, yeah, this just knock feel, the slope down. Yeah, this, this, it should feel like I'm uh, playing in slow motion. I'll show you a really good example of, uh, well, Hank, Hank Glider. Well, here, we'll try it on this one. Please wait. I am Hank now Glider that you guys game. did. Oh, yeah. Plays. Oh, my God. It, it feels. Yeah, that was quite the experiment. Yeah. Every bit like an EM should play. But this Fire Queen here is the first one that I played, the first EM that I played where things felt um, felt as slow as they should be. And I'm not saying that all EMs are slow, but uh, like the ball has a certain amount of weight and floatiness to it. It just, the speed of everything feels just right. Like you can look at the speed that it falls back down the the, the shooter uh, shooter lane. Yeah, even the way that it rolls down under the flipper uh, to drain. It's not what I would call slow, but it certainly isn't fast. Yeah, I think that's a. I think that's just a slope a slope thing. Just go go yeah. back into uh, Grand Prix. Uh, yeah, there's Grand Prix 1.2, and then, oh my god, which one is the... <laughs> Please wait, I, I am one. now yeah. loading up the game. Have fun. I'm loading up Fire Queen right now to see what it's at. Or you can load up uh, this isn't helping. to to see what that is as well. Yeah, but Hang Glider's got all the Anfazi stuff on it, so that's going to ah. be a little different. Oh my god, if I could get... Ooh, maybe I should do that so with the this. Slope, so the slope on Fire Queen is 4.7. Okay. So open up that file and look on the right in the options. Okay, F1. No, no, no. Go back to the editor. Oh, like that. And I'm looking for what? On the right, when you hit options, like oh, the options oh, box. Oh, you're, you're talking about the actual VPX editor. Okay. Well, I yeah. need to get out of, uh, I need to get out of this. Yeah, you gotta exit, exit okay. the game. Yeah. I was like, it. what the heck? All right, that's fine. And then on the main options. In the main options, when you click that options box up on the top left, you should get like a sidebar menu. And then there's a section called dimensions and slope. Oh. This is like my favorite thing to use uh, Discord for. <laughs> and it's so weird because... Uh, Troubleshooting? Well, that, but it's... What the... Um, very few people... Uh, I didn't want to start the table, damn it. Um, <laughs> I, I leave it open every time I stream with a little tagline that says join me in discord for a chat and the only person that ever joins is rad <laughs> rad Verde? yeah 
Yeah, he's he's the only one that ever talks to me. Like, I'm not exclusionary. Like, if I'm ever streaming and you're just like, you know what? I'd rather talk to this dude. Like, jump in. Like, I bet. it's yeah, it's my favorite thing. Yeah. I, I wouldn't care if there were like 50 people all talking at once in my ear. <laughs> I really wouldn't. But sometimes conversations just work a little better, uh, you know, uh, this way. Uh, what the heck? You gotta stop uh, launching it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> you need to. <laughs> All right. So options. Where? Over on the right side. So over on the right, one of those te- one of those things down there is gonna be. Uh, oh, you're in ten point seven. Yep. Drag it, drag it to your uh, uh your other screen, your DMD screen, because I can't see it. What up, good grief? Good Don't grief worry, I'll talk house. to you. Hey, <laughs> I appreciate you doing that, man. I'm sitting here trying Looking to look at your chatters. <laughs> I'm ignoring my chatters. I'm so horrible. I'm trying to do this yeah, troubleshooting. So click, click options on the on the left. It's that box that looks like a pinball machine. Yep, that's toggle backlash. Where are the options? Yeah, I couldn't find them either because I was trying to uh, to rotate a table. Um, my fun house is rotated in the wrong orientation, oh, uh, and I couldn't find it either. Hang tight. I got to load up 10.7. See, I got 10.6 for 10.6 tickets. Fire queen. Set default physics. Oh, it's right there. It's under properties on the right. Properties? Let me look at you. No, let me look at your screen. Oh, you got to drag. So on the right, it says, it says properties top right. Uh, preferences. No, top right. Top right. Ah, properties. Okay. Yep. It's The problem is, is your layers are dragged all the way up. You got to grab that bar and drag it down and you'll see properties. Oh, okay. There's like You're a so dividing smart. line. You're so smart. Look at you. You got, <laughs> you got them all covered all right. up. There you go. So then you go to uh, physics. You got to go to physics. Not yep. physics. Where is it? Visuals. Oh, yeah, it is. It's under physics. And it's at the bottom. It says slope for minimum difficulty, slope for maximum difficulty. Yeah, it's set to five. So Fire Queen is 4.7. So why don't oh. you drop it to like four and test it out? All right. Okay. Look at you. Thank you. All right. So yeah, it's see. like I make tables. Yeah, it's it's almost it's like weird. You, yeah, it's almost like <laughs> you're a professional at this. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's like I know what I'm doing. So, good grief. We are. Um, I started out practicing for a tournament tonight. Um, we're having a Lyman Sheets uh, tournament. It's the last league night of the week. And we've decided to do all Lyman Sheets tournaments for our finals uh, week. So I started out practicing those. Uh, then we got to chatting and whatnot. I was having some trouble with Metallica. And lo and behold, we're fixing the slope on <laughs> on Grand Prix. So completely unrelated. Uh, but we're going to try this out and see if, uh, if the ball moves a little slower. Looks like, looks like it does. Yeah, it should be, it should be more like floating. Yeah, that's that's what I'm looking for. And the the one that we have is even more floaty than this. Oh, oh, so, the way that it hit the flipper, I would probably. Oh, that is really close. That's really close. So I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that to three. Because, like I said, the, the table really has, um, like, it's laid back so far that it's amazing the ball even rolls downhill. I kid you not. <laughs> uh, all right. 
So good grief. Um, in the script settings, you can set a difficulty because it, like it, it's it's a misleading term because it's suggesting that the more sloped the table is, the harder it's going to be to play. So it's like a range. So in your script settings, if you wanted it to be like easy, medium, hard, it would be a different you know angle that the table's at. That's why. So you just set them to the same, and that way it doesn't matter what the script says. Now that, it's real floaty. That that's that's. I think that's feeling good. I think that's feeling pretty good. Oh yeah. See now, now you can fix all your EMs the way you like. Yeah. Because I swear to God, waiting for the ball to come back, uh, like come down the table, um, you can like go make a sandwich and, and come back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah. It does seem to kind of bounce around a little bit, uh, a little bit fast when it's bouncing off of things uh, like slingshots and all. But as far as it, that's the because, table uh, that's because so I think the so the problem they were running into right when they made these tables is that they had to use the default physics settings for VPX, and the reason hang glider is so dope is because it's got the rubber dampening code in it. Ah. This does not. So okay. I think the compromise when they were making these was that balance of if we make it too floaty, there's not enough friction. So when it bounces off of stuff, it's going to go crazy. Yeah. See, this table is actually playable now. But when you had... Um, but if you had rubber dampening, then that's going to soften. It's going to make the rubbers feel more natural. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So you won't get that like rubber bandy. Yes, exactly. So it's a, it's a compromise. It's like they make the slope higher so that the ball won't bounce around as much. But I guess it's a, you know, it's a preference for you. If you. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm sure that other people's Grand Prix does not play like the Grand Prix that I play. Um, yeah. But this is far and away closer uh <laughs> that's that's fantastic but now i'm anxious to uh yeah let's let's save that even though already table of the that. week and yeah jones is 5.5 for max 6.5 yeah well there's a setting in there um there's a setting in there to change the difficulty it's whatever it defaulted to because there's a default like if I load up Indiana Jones, I don't even know. I'm gonna load up Lord of the Rings because I don't feel like load finding an Indiana Jones. Like I'm helping your viewers too. Oh uh, man, I, I, I did. I didn't hire you. I didn't ask you to do that. Plus, that is a <laughs> question that I am not suited to answer. Obviously. I am just uh, show, showcasing your uh, fantastic work and my ghetto way of trying to achieve the same thing on a non-VPW okay. table. <laughs> so uh, if you look in the same section at the top under user customizations, it's right below the night day cycle slider. Um, it says gameplay difficulty. This table I'm looking at set to 50. So that's it's like from zero to 100. So when you set the slope at four for minimum, then zero is four. And if the max is six and you put it at a hundred, it would be six. That's where that comes into. But oh, okay. whatever that's set at by default, it's just kind of a stupid double thing. <laughs> that makes sense. It's just a way for authors to, you know, give a little option. Because in real life, you know, you can set your table to different slopes it's totally up yeah. to the owner oh yeah the weight of the ball um, I could probably uh, fix the rest of Grand Prix just with table slope and adding a little bit of friction uh, and I think there's even a setting to make the flippers uh, a little less bouncy uh, in the in the physics tab uh, good grief, this is Astro Nasty. I like to get nasty in outer space. 
<laughs> he does. Uh, I don't know if he wants to give away Astro Bucks in my stream. <laughs> but uh, you know what? Astro Bucks are absolutely fantastic. You gotta get yourself a spreadsheet and head over to Astro Nasty and earn those Astro Bucks. Yeah, it could be a napkin. Write them on a napkin or the back of a trapper keeper. Uh, you could. You know, whatever you got. Yes, you definitely see me on the Discord. I am I am infamous on Discord. Yes. <laughs> infamous is one way to put it. He uh Yeah. He recently uh he recently contributed absolutely nothing to Lord of the Rings. Um but is I took credit for it. Credit. But yeah, I didn't Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'll take I took credit for it for sure, but I didn't do nothing with that table. Yeah, when you when you watch his stream, he's got all these like fake ass pictures of like Lord, uh, Frodo and Gandalf like hanging up on the wall, and he's like, "Yeah, I drew that," but you don't see any art supplies anywhere. Yeah, not a single, not one pencil, no one. Just maybe some finger paints, and that's it. I think he had a box of crayons, but he might have ate them. I did the thing where you glue them all to the top of a board and then you use your hair dryer to melt them. <laughs> hey, it makes like a drip. It makes like a drip a drip art. That's that's about the extent of my artistic ability. Who has not done that? I used to melt crayons uh, and popsicle sticks in the sun with a magnifying glass. Yeah. I made all sorts and of contraptions. Bugs. <laughs> bugs, yeah. Like my dad won't uh, let me have no. The astro, food. astro nasty, and astro nicey are the same person. Good grief. <laughs> oh, that's astro because I keep calling him <laughs> nasty. My bad. <laughs> that's my fault. Well, my name, my name is Astro Nasty, but I had that Twitch account and it got banned. Please wait. Because my name, name, I changed my name to Astro, but spelled A S S. Oh, and I got perma banned, so I had to, I, had, I had to make a new account. Yeah, well, did you keep track of the Astro Bucks? <laughs> <laughs> whiskey drinking really stream. That was what everyone remembered was all the whiskey. Uh, you did have a fair share. I thought you were going to break into a, like a Hobbit drinking song. It's just my, that's just my, listen, it's like Kanye said, I'm, my life's dope and I do dope shit. There should be a, there should be a Kanye table. Did you ever see that? Did you ever see that interview? It was uh, Dave Chappelle was talking about Kanye when he first met Kanye. No, I don't. I don't think I have. So, so Dave Chappelle, he was on like Jimmy Fallon or something, and he was and he was uh, talking about how he met Kanye. He came to like a editing of the Chappelle Show, and he wasn't famous yet. Like he he had like just done like the Blueprint or something for for Jay Z or. One one of those Jay Z albums, okay. And that's like how he showed up. At, that's like how he showed up at the Chappelle show, but nobody knew who he was. And uh, and he said he took a phone call, and he and he like answered it in front of everybody, and he was like, he was like, no, I can't, no, I can't, because I'm at the Chappelle show right now. Oh he man, goes, because my life's dope and I do dope shit. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone was like. Everyone was like, who is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Wasn't even famous yet. <laughs> the next time I get that story called in to work on my day off, I'm going to do the exact same thing. It's like, no, I can't. So, so I it, yeah. Can't. I'm dope. I do dope shit. <laughs> he said that uh, they were sitting around listening. It was whatever the album was. I think it's the that's a Jay Z album, right? The Blueprint, something like that. Uh, anyway, so. how do I not know that in my black? Anyway, but Kanye, <laughs> Kanye had like made had like made beats for him or something, and he got shouted out 
on the record. So okay. that was the first part of the story was they were sitting around. Nobody knew who he was. And then Jay-Z like said something about Kanye's beats. And then Kanye, like he hadn't said a word to anybody. Said he stood up and he said, he said, stop the record. Rewind that. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody was, everybody was like, who is this? <laughs> stop the record. Rewind it. Stop yes. the record. Rewind that. <laughs> All dramatic and shit. <laughs> yeah. That's how I want to live my life. <laughs> Just be dope oh, man. Look at this shit. table. I know, right? Is this one lagging? No. It, it plays fantastically. It's one of the best playing tables I have. Um, <laughs> it's like nine months of development, man. I'm so glad it's over. I mean, th this table is literally breathtaking at least for me because i have been looking for uh, a copy of this table i never got into playing lord of the rings because none of the other tables made me happy in one way or the other um, and it wasn't until uh i saw you stream this uh to premiere it but then immediately after that um i watched straight down the middle's review uh of the Lord of the Rings pinball machine and their chief complaint was the one thing that you fixed they were like this table is perfect but the artwork sucks they hated the artwork and then when I loaded this up in 4k and saw all of this gorgeous hand drawn art I, I was I was blown away yeah you know that was kind of our approach when we started doing it nobody likes nobody liked it like i loved the i loved the ta the real table and the v the vpx table i just yeah. my whole thing was i wanted one that played better right yeah. so when i pitched the idea to them uh benji was like no he's like i don't like the table i think it's bad it's ugly and i was like oh, yeah but i want like i like it like, <laughs> like i want i want a, I want a good version <laughs> and he was like he was like he was like, all right, if you redraw the whole thing, we'll make it. And I was yeah. like, okay. <laughs> so that was, that was how that happened. All right, let's see if I can But I also, when I was designing it, you know, we moved those inserts, which was a, a huge help too, yeah. visually. I think it makes it cleaner looking. Because if you look at the real table, they're like a big arc right in the center. Yeah. And then the center, like the very center between the slings is empty. It's just all artwork. And it's just, this feels and it's, and it's like it, it's art. cleaner to look at. It's it's not good artwork it's, it's, either. It's that very Yeah, it's like easier to see weird. where the shots are. Yeah, and then the sword, you know, the, the sword was was a big oh. deal because we, we wanted a clear sword. And people oh. thought we were nuts. Uh, good grief, no. I am not rocking 120 hertz. Uh, I am 60 hertz 4K. Uh, now, my back glass runs at 165 hertz in 1440p. That's a, yeah. And this one doesn't my, even move, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it looks fantastic. But I, I'll tell you, I was using the back glass previously. It's a 32-inch back glass, so I was using it in a um, in a three-quarter cab, uh, playing VPX uh, at 1440p, 165 hertz, and oh, if you can afford a a uh, high hertz monitor, go for it. It it does make a difference. It plays butter smooth, beautifully. Um, my so main I, my main monitor is a 1080p 165 hertz like i would much rather have higher hertz than oh yeah higher resolution person oh yeah if i had a thousand to twelve hundred bucks i would grab that uh asus 43 inch uh 120 hertz monitor uh, I, I would grab that in a heartbeat but your 1080 ti would not appreciate it <laughs> <laughs> why, why you gotta be dissing my 1080 mm -hmm. ti you know what it is i think it's because uh <laughs> it's 
is because uh, I really need to uh, blow the dust off of all of my fans. Uh, that would probably help. See, this is how I haven't done that in probably two years. He got, he got have... softball day. He got off. He got off track. He's he stopped practicing. <laughs> I I did. I got I got off track. What's up, softball day? Softboiled is from the OKC area. He knows all about the league, mate. Hopefully, he's going to be there tonight. I mean, it's a special finals tournament. It's going to be all Lyman Sheets tables. <laughs> good grief, says I prefer to hurt more than look good. <laughs> now, you know, the, you know the, the Medieval Madness tournament strat, right? No, I don't. Let's load it up and you can teach me. Please wait. I am now loading up the now, game. We were how talking far? about earlier. That's, that's how I won the... Uh, we were talking about earlier. That's how I won the FX3 tournament the other night. Did you really? I, I hate it when you and Red joined the FX3 tournaments because I'm thinking, oh, I did pretty good. I might place in the top three or five. Nope. Here they come. Dropping their, you know, ridiculous. Oh, I got seven billion. Get out of here with that. Y'all need to be in your own tournament. Well, the main strategy oh, for this well, table. Beast New York in the house. What's up? <laughs> uh, the main strategy, shoot the castle all day and nothing else. Right? Is that it? Shoot the castle, but during the multi balls. What? Who does that? I guess only the people that want to win. Softboiled? Is that actually correct? Is that a is that an appropriate strategy? Good grief says something about he's only rocking a twenty seventy. So might might run a 120, yeah, yeah, uh, 2070. Uh, as long as it's got the, as long as it's got the RAM, yeah, should not be an issue. Software said, hit the locks. <laughs> Coming in after Basically, player. you want all your shots to go uh, to go center. Get your multi ball with the three locks through the tower, and then cradle during the multi ball and just shoot the door over and over again forever. Ah. And rinse and repeat. Max out, max out that door, and then once you max out the door, then start shooting all the other shots. You can go for king of the round. Ah, damn it. Go for multi ball all of the times. But the dangerous thing on this table are the ramps rejecting, which is why you don't want to shoot for the ramps. Because they're steep. They, they come right back at you. Oh, slap saving on a V-pin. It can be done. So yeah, softball. All right, I gotta get out of here. As you know, I gotta go to the hey, grocery store. Astro, thank you so much for helping me out and hanging out on my stream. I appreciate it. Yeah, man, I'll see you around. Yeah, see you around, man. Have a great day. Give it, give you, give yourself fourteen hundred Astro bucks. All right, absolutely, I will. There we go.
Ah. That does not have Ken Fozzy physics. Nope, it does. Eh, maybe it does. Sixty percent of the time go for multi balls all the time. John Moody, what's up? Moody, Moody mystery in the house. Oof. There we go. Rescue the princess. <clears throat> well, thank you for checking me out for work. I appreciate that. No, we got catapult, peasant, and damsel all lit. Woo, that can be some good scoring. All right, softball, thank you very much for joining me as well. No, no, no. We lose out. We didn't get the extra ball. We didn't get none of the multi balls. That is, that's sad. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> I can get a decent bounce into Merlin's magic, but I'm not trying. Having a good time. So tonight uh, at our league night finals, I'm going to be in the B group. Uh, and hopefully I'll be able to place well. We'll see. There we go. But we got to be playing uh, uh, Lama Sheet Stables tonight. So I am here in Oklahoma City, in the heart of Oklahoma City. <laughs> and uh, I uh, participate in. Uh, league play and tournament play uh, at an arcade that's not too far from where I live uh, called Cactus Jacks, uh, which I like to brag, has the sixth largest collection of well-maintained modern pins in the U.S. So if you happen to be traveling uh, through some flyover states in the middle of nowhere uh, and you want to play some really great pinball, 
uh, come by and see us at Cactus Jacks uh, here in Oklahoma City. Uh, you will not be disappointed uh, with what you find there. Uh, maybe a little bit with the, the price of beer, um, but, <laughs> but the pinball is great. I hear some keys jangling. Whose keys are jangling? Astro, are you still uh, you still connected to my chat, bro? Your keys jangling as you're heading out the door to go get them groceries. <laughs> oh. Nah, couldn't save it. Yeah, check out the list of tables on the pinball app. Um, yeah, it's not super up to date um, with the with the list of tables. But more than likely, if it's uh, if it's new and it's from Stern or Jersey Jack, uh, we have it. So I keep saying we like I own the place, but <laughs> you you know what I mean. Now, I do wish uh, there was a collection of games by uh, other manufacturers. So the we, we carry the, the big three there, which is uh, Stern, obviously, uh, Jersey Jack Pinball, and Spooky. Uh, Beast New York, unfortunately, no. Uh, None of it will be live tonight. Although I was asked to get some footage of, uh, of a game called Time Fantasy, um, which uh, Rick from the Living Arcade was, uh, was playing last night as part of his uh, ASR, ASMR uh, part of his stream. Uh, and he was surprised because the game is super rare um, that Cactus Jacks had one, so he wanted to see uh, what one looked like uh, in real life. So I said, well, since I'm going to uh, late night, it's going to be there. Uh, I'll get some uh, some footage of it. So I'm going to try to get some footage and then uh, figure out how to display that uh, on my stream. Uh, but that's pretty cool. And yes, good grief, I do have a uh, KO 25Z uh, as part of my uh, electronics package uh, in this pin. Uh, the electronics that I'm running are all from uh, uh, a company called Oak Micros, um, which no longer exists. But for the while that he was making parts, uh, uh, I bought my uh, uh, control board that controls my LED lights, uh, another board uh, that has the uh, KL25Z on it, uh, and it has all of the MOSFETs and outputs and things like that uh, already pre-soldered to the board, so it's just pins that you have to plug in. Uh, which makes it really easy. Uh, I have a fuse board uh, by him. And two different kinds of fuse boards. Uh, what else? Um, my button lights. Um, they're uh, individual little flashers uh, done by him as well. Yep. Uh, it's Arnaz who, who makes all of that stuff now. I don't know anything about any of the R9 stuff, but if you're starting out new, um, yeah, that's that's where you're gonna get all of your parts from. I'll 
I would love to uh, to stream um, live pinball from Cactus Jacks, but unfortunately, um, that doesn't look like that's going to happen anytime soon, uh, which is unfortunate because I would love to share that with you. We have some uh, some great competition there, um, including uh, uh, the 41st ranked uh, player uh, in the in the IFPA, uh, Travis Murray. Okay, Astro, you went with Zep boards all in one. Yep. So, but the Zep board solution, uh, I haven't researched too much for it because it was kind of out of my price range at the time. I kind of built everything kind of part and parcel um, as I could afford it. Uh, but yeah, it's a great all in one solution. Basically, it's about as plug and play as it gets. <laughs> you you drop your six to eight hundred bucks or whatever configuration you opt opted for and uh it comes with everything mounted on some rails like solenoids and all your control boards everything wired up you're essentially just plugging in uh, i believe a couple of usb cords uh and a couple of uh electrical components to a wall outlet and you're good to go <laughs> I am the king of pain. Hire Peanut in the house. What's up, Hire Peanut? How you doing? Is Cactus Jacks conveniently loaded in a canyon? Located in a canyon? Uh, no, it is not. But what's really cool is the place is named Cactus Jacks. And we also have the pinball machine, Cactus Jacks. And we also have a Cactus Canyon. Uh, <laughs> on location as well. So we are all about uh, the cacti. Did I say that right? More than one cactus is a cacti. There's our ball to lock. Now that's that's good, you know, customer service, especially if you're, you know, if you're paying for all in one solution like that. Yeah, you would hope that uh, for the money, there's going to be some uh, pretty good customer service. Castles down, trolls defeated. I'll take an extra ball anyway, we can get it. Multi ball madness. Yeah. 
Damn it. Ah. All right. Jerk Reese says he's piecing together some R words boards now. Uh, and he got the SSF going. Yes, it is. Um, the SSF combined with uh, Thump, um, which which is kind of like an equalizer for the SSF. Um, those two things made me not proceed forward with uh, with the rest of the, um, the the Dolph toys, like the solenoids and contactors and things like that. I just don't really feel that I need it. I'd like to have them because it's a luxury and because I spent so much time and invested so much, I feel like I'm like 80% of the way there. So why not just go all the way? But for right now, I'm totally happy because the SSF is so good. Uh, just ordered a Poter and 3D printed housing since I'm running other r nose boards. Uh, ordered a, a printer, you mean. And 3D printed some housing and stuff. Uh, he got the bronze colored one with the orange housing. I don't know. Correct. <laughs> Cacti, octopi, apple pie. <laughs> nice. And we're not going to talk about the mathematical pie because I don't know that one. No! Oh. Yeah, oh, it's a, a Britman that, that did thump. Okay, cool. with this multi-ball? Thank you. Damn. Worst multi-ball ever. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> 3.14, the first free. Pretty easy, yeah. That part I knew. The rest of it, nope. Get up in there. The version of this table that I'm playing. I believe this is a Nunuzo and Tom Tower version. No, it's a Schizo. But I'm bummed because I don't believe this has the uh, the Infazi physics. So uh, now that I've learned a little bit more about that, uh, thanks to Astro Nicey. Uh, I want to have that on all my tables now. 18. That seemed like a lot of work for only 18. What a bummer. <laughs> uh, I know Monster Bash is also going to be on the list. Uh, Higher Peanut says if you want to get really pedantic, octopus is a Greek root and the plural is octopedis. Octopodis. But English couldn't be bothered and accepted octopi. Octopeds. Octopodes. Nice. <laughs> Just a word of friendly warning. He's one of the strangest tales ever told. We are the monsters of rock. Oh! Somebody! Oh! He no. needs some milk! He man, thank you very much for following. I appreciate that. Welcome. You are now one of the fellow tilters. Remember, uh, when it comes to pinball and all things in life, you're not really trying if you're not trying to tilt.
Yes, and I even found out a easy way to check and see if you don't know if the table has those physics or not. Uh, you can trap up the ball, and with the opposite flipper, if you get the ball to nudge, it probably has uh, the most current version of, uh, of Infosy physics. what I get for double flipping. I did that to myself. Yay, man. Do you, uh, do you play VPX? You play physical pinball? What's, what's up with you and pinball? There's a lot of people out there who love pinball, absolutely love it, um, but they either don't have access to uh, to an arcade or very many pins, or they don't have the money to or the space to invest in, um, you know, building an arcade in their basement to, to house um, these rather large objects. Uh, so virtual pinball is a way to. Oh yeah, that's right. The Mabushka is with this ridiculous magnet. A lot of places say that you should just let the magnet time out instead of trying to play through it. Whoa, for that reason exactly. You see that? Look at that. <laughs> Twitch was having some hiccups. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and you almost nailed that losing horn. <laughs> it was it was just a little bit early. Just a little bit. Have a nice 
I don't know how I'm going to do at League Night uh, tonight. I mean, more than likely, it's going to be the same uh, people at the top that are normally at the top. But I always try to, uh, and I don't want this to sound bad. Like, like I said before, I'm not, I'm not a defeatist. Uh, realist statistics uh, speak for themselves. I always try to be um, in the upper half. Oh, I let that walk the plank. Red Verde in the house. What's up? How are you doing? How's it going? You know how it's going. It's going great, man. I feel good. I feel better. I'm uh, back on the grind. Um, fine tune some uh, gameplay and physics on my favorite game, Grand Prix. Uh, messing with the slope uh, to get the game slowed down just a little bit. Uh, so the game plays like the old EM that it is. Uh, this is not the new version of Adam's Family. So this is not the G5K version. Um, I have a G5K version um, from way back. So the one that they have is a, is a re-upload. Um, this one is called 4K Uncompressed. Uh, so uh, if your computer can handle it, uh, go for it. Um, it looks absolutely fantastic. Um, but I would imagine that most people playing VPX, uh, their computers would melt playing this one. Get up in there. Go, man. Red, you know the rules, same as always. If you want to hang out in my uh, in my Discord, you're more than welcome. That's where uh, that's where Astro was hanging out. He's having a good time. All right. Uh, <laughs> Hiram Peanut says, we don't need no Waz. <laughs> Leave Dorothy where she is. Mm. You know, one of the things that got me into playing VPIN is, uh, is the Wizard of Oz. Um, several years ago, uh, just on like a, me and the missus, we was having kind of a, you know, like a date night kind of thing. And we ate dinner and we were looking for something to do. And I was like, hey, you remember that old arcade you used to go to? It's right up the street. Let's go in there and see what's up. And they had a big sign outside that said, Silver Ballers Welcome. And I'm like, what the hell does that mean? Um, then when you get inside, there's all sorts of signage. It says Stern Army and pinball tournaments and all this. And they had the, the arcade divided up where if you go down the ramp to the right side, 
uh, it's you know all the old classic arcade games and driving games and you know gun light gun games stuff like that um, there but if you make a left you go through the archway there's this huge room kind of like a hall and it just had pinball machines just as far as the eye could see I was like what the hell is this you know and I'm thinking okay this has got to be where all the old people hang out you know <laughs> uh, who still plays pinball and the place was packed uh, so we go walking through there and of course you know you see all the flashing lights you hear the sounds and you know stuff like that and you hear jackpot and you know all this stuff you know and you just like it can be overwhelming <laughs> and uh so I'm like, man, I, I got to put quarter in something, right? And the first thing that caught my eye was the Wizard of Oz. And I'm like, it, it's a big machine. It had this giant TV screen on it uh, that was playing like Wizard of Oz stuff. And, you know, it, it was just, I had never seen anything like it. So I'm like, okay, you know, how many quarters does it take? And then it took a dollar. I'm like, holy crap. <laughs> You know, and uh, uh, so so sorry about that, guys. Please be aware that I am streaming this in 4k so uh if you were having some trouble viewing it that might actually be the issue because it's not showing any issues on my side so if you have that little gear icon uh if you tap the actual video the little gear icon pops up um, and there might be an option on there to watch it in a lower resolution that might help uh, if that doesn't help I would uh, maybe try watching it on the other platform uh, where the channel has the same name. That's really all I'm going to say about that. Uh, but there's more than one way to watch your boy uh, Chris would try to tilt pinball. Um, but if you pay attention to the icons that appear uh, right here above my head uh, over, over here right about here um, they'll give you some clue <laughs> oh you redeemed the horn sound while I was playing Monster Bash. Ooh, that is really delayed. Uh. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. I am going to have to uh, watch that back. What's crazy, y'all might not know, I actually watch back in their entirety um, my entire stream, regardless of length. <laughs> whether it's a one hour stream uh, or a four or five hour stream I watch it back in its entirety uh, just looking for audio video issues I don't see how you can hate from outside of the club stuff like that you can't even get in so, <laughs> Let what out. is that? a new subscriber oh my god who who was kind enough to do something like that um, oh my goodness thank you uh, for that who did that uh, Paladin Arcade <laughs> three months in a row thank you very much Paladin uh, you are my right and left hand uh, amazing thank you so much I want to thank you for that um Paladin is fantastic. Um, he and I worked uh, for several weeks 
on figuring out uh, by ourselves by ourselves how to do uh, a multiplayer stream uh, before finally getting some help uh, from the big boys like MPT3K and Don't Panic Flip and uh, uh, Nailbuster on how they do their pin battles. Um, a lot of fun. Now that I'm uh, back on the Twitch grind, uh, I hope to be able to do uh, more uh, multi-person streaming uh, with him. But uh, he has not been feeling too good lately. Uh, I hope he's uh, uh, feeling a little better day by day. So, you know, keep him in your thoughts. Uh, definitely, uh, when he's feeling better, go check him out, say hi. Uh, I do know that uh, last night his wife was uh, gracious enough to host his Monday night uh, Pinball FX3 uh, tournament, uh, which is on uh, Monday nights at... Uh, 8.30. It's on Monday nights at 8.30. Uh, usually runs for a couple of hours. Uh, he hosts that and then on Wednesday uh, Smog uh, Gamer Club Central uh, also hosts uh, a Pinball FX uh, 3 tournament uh, on, uh, on Wednesday nights. And I believe he hosts those at 9.30 Eastern. So Paladin is on Monday, 8.30 Eastern. And uh, Game Club Central is on. Join in. Uh, 